Okay, it's 2023 and Samsung has sent out its first set of premium A-series smartphones in the market. Now I've had the Galaxy A54 for a few days and here are my thoughts about it. So this time they've massively upgraded the design. They've also improved the low light photo and video capability. It also ships with the latest One UI 5.1 update and it still retains the durability and battery performance of its predecessors. Let's talk about them one by one. In terms of design, Samsung has really pushed it to the premium side. So you get these independent camera modules, a design much like we saw in the S23 flagship series. You get a fully flat surface, again, like the base Galaxy S23. They've upgraded the plastic back in the Galaxy A53 to a glossy glass finish on the A54. Again, like premium flagships used just a couple of years back. The metallic frame looks really good and it feels even better. Now look guys, both plastic and glass have their own pros and cons, right? So plastic, it looks less premium, but it is more durable and it lets you be a little bit more carefree. Glass, on the other hand, it looks really nice, it looks premium, but it's also prone to scratch and shatter and it makes you want to be more careful. However, this does have Gorilla Glass 5 as you know protection, both uh, on the back and the front. So that's a good thing. Nevertheless, you are going to want to put a protective case on this because it is glass and it's not like it's shatterproof and you definitely don't want to lose the elegance that's going on here. But you know what has significantly improved is the grip and the in-hand feel, largely because of the rectangular metallic frame and the slightly thicker edges. And you know, the 6.4 inch display, it feels very well balanced. It's a fairly large display and unlike phones that are 6.6 .6 inch and above, it actually is quite manageable with just one hand. Oh, and by the way, this is IP67 water and dust resistant. so. You know, whether you drop it in a puddle of water or you're using it while it's really pouring outside on the road, this is going to endure all of that. In terms of connectivity, it's a dual SIM phone with no micro SD card slot and it supports 11 5G bands, which is one of the widest 5G support you can expect in a smartphone in this price segment, at least in India. Now, first, I want to talk about the cameras because, you know, A-series phones, they tend to bring semi-flagship experience to its cameras. So here are the specs right in front of you. You can pause here if you wish to, and then you can just go through the specs. But first, I want to point out that I really like how Samsung is streamlining its camera array. So whether it's the bottom line Galaxy A14 or this Galaxy A54 or even the latest Galaxy S23, the independent camera islands are becoming very uniquely Samsung. But speaking of premium features, the Galaxy A54, it gets the nitrography features this time. So that was actually released with the Galaxy S22 for the first time last year. So this time you get 56% wider pixel size. It captures photos that are slightly more detailed, crisp and vivid. Despite low light conditions, I would say that these look quite decent. The phone also automatically switches to night mode when it senses low light around you and then it accounts for it in post-processing to ensure that photos come out visibly bright. Samsung has also improved optical limit stabilization and VDIS uh, to make sure that photos and videos in low light conditions, they come out sharp and crisp and they're able to eliminate the blur or the shake. Also, they've improved the focusing capability on the Galaxy A54. So instead of using PDAF, they now use all pixel focus. So basically, it's going to identify the subject and lock the focus much quicker. But leaving nitography aside, the A54 takes very decent clicks. These are some shots I took using the primary lens and they work. Obviously, we can't expect flagship level accuracy with this, but they're still the next best set of cameras you can get for now. I'll anyway leave a link in the description from where you'll be able to download all these photos and check the quality for yourself. I was also amazed with the selfie camera. Very true to light photos and it took great shots even in very dim lighting conditions. Now the A54 can shoot 4K videos at up to 30 FPS and Full HD videos at up to 60 FPS, which I believe is sufficient. And again, download this video sample from the link in the description and you can check the quality for yourself. Now, the next best flagship-like feature that the A-series phones tends to bring are actually the displays. The A54 has a 120Hz super smooth color-rich AMOLED display. It's extremely crisp, very sharp and it looks really stunning. But here's the important part. The A54 this time has 25% higher peak brightness than the A53 last time. So it's 
1000 nits and the best part is that it comes with vision booster this time and what that means is a 54 will also intelligently manage the tone and the colors of the display under extremely bright conditions and it ensures that you get the most consistent display experience and so yeah i can very confidently say that the a54 is a definite and a significant improvement over the last year's A53's display. You also get stereo speakers, so both the earpiece and the speaker here uh, throw sound. And by the way, on paper, they have improved the overall loudness and the bass of the speakers as compared to the Galaxy A53 last year, so that's always good. Even games look so good on this display. I mean, why not? AMOLED displays are known for their colors and games like these are simply a visual treat. Now, they've used Exynos 1380 in the A54 as opposed to the Exynos 1280 in the A53 last year. Performance is smooth and the response to touch seems to be very good as well. Now, I'm playing Call of Duty on high graphics with high frame rate and it plays all of that without a glitch. Online multiplayer gaming felt flawless and the phone didn't even start to feel warm. Apps open up fast, app switching is quick and overall navigating the phone feels really fluid thanks to that 120Hz smooth display. Now apart from all of this, there's also a voice focus feature on the Galaxy A54. Essentially, it can isolate your voice from background or you know ambient noise around you so that the person on the other end, whether it's a normal voice call or a video call, they can hear you very clearly. That's always good. Oh, and Samsung did tell us this time that they've used a linear motor instead of a DC motor to improve the haptics of the phone. So again, if you're going to be using the phone, typing on the phone, the overall experience is going to be much more satisfactory. Coming to the software, the A54 ships with the latest One UI 5.1 skinned on Android 13. So obviously you get all the Samsung goodies, right from the ability to edit your lock screen to the always on display, to the ability to apply dynamic theming based on the wallpaper. You get all of it. You also get Samsung Wallet, which lets you manage your bank accounts, credit cards, and even protect your sign-in information. Then there's Secure Folder that lets you securely and privately organize your files, photos, videos, and even install apps that only you can access in this secure zone. There are also tools like Object Eraser that uses AI to smartly remove objects from the photo by simply tapping on them. Additionally, there's also Reflection and Shadow Eraser that works the same way. You also get focus modes, which you can then customize and set them depending on what you're up to and have a more tailored experience with your phone. Oh, and by the way, because Samsung guarantees four years of OS upgrades and five years of security upgrades, you're all set to receive all the way up to Android 17 on the Galaxy A54. Samsung's One UI is easily the most feature-packed Android skin in the market. I mean, it is extremely loaded. And to add to that, you also get access to Good Lock via the Galaxy Store, which can potentially unlock so much more personalization and customization capability. It can get crazy. I've actually done a video about how you can set up your Galaxy phones. I'll leave a link to that video in this card here. So definitely watch that after this video. And lastly, the other thing that Galaxy A series phones does really well is give you massive batteries. So the A54 comes with 5000 mAh battery capacity and it supports 25 watt charging speeds. Charger is not included in the box, but you do get the cable. Now guys, I'll be honest, I've not been able to do very comprehensive battery drain test on the Galaxy A54. I just received it a few days ago. But let me tell you based on my past experience with Samsung phones, 5000 mAh batteries and you know battery efficient processors like the Exynos 1380. You're gonna need to charge it only once in about two days. I mean, if you have regular non-intensive usage, yeah, once in two days sounds about right. But sure, if you're using camera all day long or you're just sitting on it gaming all day long, it's not gonna last you that long. But with regular normal use, you know, like emails, messaging, uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Netflix, that kind of stuff, this can easily last you two days. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it about the Galaxy A54. Now, if you do have any questions, I will be hanging on to this phone for a few days. So make sure you ask them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.